Arizona is now set to join 17 other states that have imposed near total abortion bans since Roe v. Wade was struck down. Democrats and even some Republicans are denouncing the Arizona Supreme Court ruling that a 160 year old abortion ban is now enforceable with no exceptions for rape or incest. Correspondent Natalie Brandt has the latest. Abortion access in Arizona is in limbo after the state's conservative Supreme Court reinstated a 19th century law banning nearly all abortions. While a lower court reviews the law's constitutionality, the state's Democratic governor is blasting the ruling. This is a devastating decision that will have huge consequences. Governor Katie Hobbs is calling on the state legislature to repeal the ban first enacted in 1864 before Arizona even became a state. They could uh, gavel in today and make a motion to repeal this ban and they should do that. I'm hopeful that they will. The 4-2 decision overrides Arizona's current 15-week ban and the court warned that all abortions except those necessary to save a woman's life are illegal with doctors facing a two to five year prison sentence. Today's decision should be celebrated and we're very hopeful that voters will recognize that life is a human right. Arizona is a critical battleground in the presidential race. Within hours of the decision, the Biden campaign boosted ad spending there and the vice president will visit later this week. To stop bans like this, we need a United States Congress that will restore the protections of Roe v. Wade. Monday, former President Donald Trump released a video statement saying abortion limits should be up to the states. The states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both, and whatever they decide must be the law. Back in Arizona, Planned Parenthood says it will continue to provide abortion services up to 15 weeks for a short period of time. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.